Hello, this is I'm a Mega Crazy Hand, and this is my Pokemon Yellow LP. And this guy's gonna be really cranky. We ended the last part with picking up the Oaks parcel. So, yeah, that's from Grandpa. And he hasn't had his coffee yet. This is why we need to open up a Kentos Dunkin' Donuts. That is America Run on Dunkin'. So maybe if he, there was a million donuts around, he wouldn't be so cranky. This is Hope the Pikachu. I'm going to show you it again. Like I had Slinger Shock. It lets us roast Pidgeys pretty early. It has really good speed and special and attack are pretty much the same. I don't think its defense is going to hold up very well. So I'm not sure if I'll put up against any physical attackers in this game. So now we're going to continue walking. We're going to have to go. And I passed the door to the Pokemon Center. Am I really that stupid? I mean, who does that? Passing doors that they want to go through? I mean, how stupid can you get? Whoa! Sometimes I don't even know myself. So now, if Pikachu is back there, why is Pikachu also on the tray thingy? It doesn't make sense to me. It's like, how is that possible? It is impossible. Pikachu can't be in two places at once. But then again, it was magically teleported onto the right where it caught it. And now here's another Pidgey. I love these Pidgeys. Pidgey, 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 come on, give me some experience while I finish off this girl. Yay, Pidgey! Critical hit! Yeah, I think I probably could have done that without a critical hit. Critical hits are great in this game when you get them. Now, the easiest way down from there is just jump the ledges. I didn't do that up there. I didn't feel like it. I know I went the wrong way over there, once again, me being stupid. I mean, really. I guess I'm being really stupid today. Stay with this. Okay, well, I walked past his door. Really? Who walked past the guy's door? It's right there. Yes, I know if someone likes me a lot, it's either stalking me, or it's planning to kill me because it's following me. And I prefer to think that it's not planning to kill me. So, okay, so you want me to do something for you? Gary's theme song starts up again. Yada, 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 yada. He's the cool theme song. And, okay, his chrome one grew stronger. His little Eevee. Cute little Eevee. On his desk, there's an invention of his. He's an inventor, of course. It holds, it's a high tech encyclopedia that holds information about Pokemon that he has. Because he's too old to do it himself. He's gonna make little 10 year olds go out into the world and capture Pokemon. I do not know how this makes any sense at all. But very little of this game makes. But this game doesn't have to make sense. It's just an excuse for Thunder Shocking Pidgeys and other Pokemon. And now Gary walks away after being really, really mean. Let's see, well, if we're not gonna get free stuff from his sister. Let's see if we'll get free stuff from these aids. No, no. You, che you cheap idiots, just give me something. She looks nice, maybe she'll give me something. Damn it, she didn't give me something. Why must everyone in this game be so cheap? Or expensive? Going from $3,000 to $800. Uh, okay, yes, thank you. Thank you for the town map. You are a horrible little sister to your brother. And now you're telling me... Yes, I know a town map allows me to see where I am. I mean, isn't that the point of a map? So I can get places? I'm not sure if I'm actually going to use the map itself, but... I guess it'd be pretty useful to have. Go, hope the Pikachu. That's how we get around to it. If I don't explain it in part one, which isn't letting me narrate right now, I'll explain it later as to why the Pikachu's name is Hope. I know some of you might be wondering that. If any of you are actually watching this, you're probably not. And yes, this is like my fourth time at trying to narrate this because this is just a really annoying program for narration. It's not really letting me control audio. And it's really, really agitating me right now. It's like, really? How poor can this get? Oh yes, yeah, killing piggies. Always fun. So yeah, you're about to see me blow a bunch 
of money. I know I referenced it just like a moment ago, but two Pokeballs, not good enough. Keep in mind, I'm starting with $3,175. I have to go with five Pokeballs. That's right, people. Five Pokeballs to capture myself. A nice team of Pokemon. Now, I need nine, I need three potions. And anyone who has ever played any of these games will tell you how annoying poison is. So I pick up four antidotes, which leaves me with $875 from $3,175. That's right, people. Don't follow my savings example, or you will be broke in this game. Of course, money is not a big concern in this game. Trainers are sometimes easy, sometimes not so easy. It all depends. So now, Next, ch first gym is Rock type. Pikachu's useless. There's three pro one you can catch here that are useful for it. New Red Male, New Red Female, and Minky. Spear is pretty good, but I'm not gonna catch it. I already have my entire team determined. And Spiro is not on it, but it's still pretty good. If you wanna use it, I would not be against it. I support it. And now here comes the next team member, the pink monkey Pokemon. Mankey. Come on, Mankey. Show me what you got. Okay, I'm very glad you're not pretty cool ticket there. That would just be really annoying. But I don't want to find another Mankey. Primate, it's evolved form, has never failed me in this game series. It's a really good physical attacker. High speed, high attack. So it can go in there and it can beat your opponent up. Whether or not I can take a hit, not so much, but it can deliver hits like I've never seen. So now, this is just my thought process for trying to name it. At first I was like, Mankey is ugly, ugly, use Karate Chop, but then I remember the name of the gym leader from Gold, Silver, and Crystal who used a primate, and I think it was Chuck. That little switch there was my mistake, never mind. So now, Chuck the Mankey. You are mine. <laughs> and there's only a few seconds left, so this is virtually the end of this part of the LP. This is Mega Crazy Hand, and I'm a